process is developed across Stirling and Clipmanager councils and there's a partnership between um, the local authorities, Forth Valley College and some voluntary sector partners like the Stirling School of English and Stirling Multicultural Partnership. Uh, what the process aims to do is join together a range of different self-evaluation um, inspection documents including how good is our community learning development, um, the uh, inspection framework for the FE sector and uh, the Scottish Government self-evaluation framework. Um, the hope is by uh, joining together and cross-referencing the, the self-evaluation tools it uh, allows one, self, one simultaneous self-evaluation process um, which is valid and relevant for um, a range of different inspection processes. The actual self-evaluation process was developed building on a similar process that, that we had across the Forth Valley area for, for literacies uh, and really the reason for doing that was about building confidence in uh, an area that, that staff felt needed uh, staff felt they needed a bit more support with so uh, we figured getting together as a range of partners was, was the ideal thing to do in an area of building sort of skills and capacity. So my role is to help coordinate the sole provision that we have in Stirling Council. Well I think using the tool helps us in a couple of ways. It helps us to improve some of the things that we do and maybe introduce new things and it helps us in how we support the tutors who are working with the classes. Um, so for example um, one of the things we looked at and introduced as a result was accreditation of some of the basic ESOL that we do. So we introduced ESOL Literacies 1 and 2 which is an SQA um, as a result of looking at some of the questions in the tool. Um, another thing we looked at is there's a question um, there's a question about how learners are involved in deciding their own learning and uh, we introduced it's a very creative process really we introduced um, a visual tool that they could use to choose some of the topics they wanted to work on despite having very limited language skills so uh, there are quite a lot of things that come out of doing the evaluation after we did the ESOL self-evaluation um, with my colleague Joe, um, we had a member of the ESOL stakeholders group, um, Anne-Marie Harley from Forth Valley College, come along and um, basically do a peer evaluation with us. Um, we found that really useful. Um, in particular, she flagged up a couple of issues on, um, on timings, um, making sure that our, our action plan was realistic and measurable. Um, and it was really useful having someone with other experience um, to kind of come and share that with us. So that was really useful. I think having a, another pair of eyes was really useful. Um, and someone from a different background, um, not from the community learning development, but from a, a wider kind of college view, was really useful. In particular, she helped us with some of the issues towards accreditation, um, which was really good. It's been a great thing to be part of and we've really um, found it helpful and quite supportive and as a result of doing it, of having the college um, you know, peer review ourselves, I've then gone on and peer reviewed some of the other providers, um, for example the Sterling Multicultural Partnership, so it's really good sharing best practice amongst the different organisations. Um, I think it's been really successful across the, the Stirling and Clipmanager areas. I think the whole peer approach to it has been really, really supportive and, and really helping us identify the level that our practice was coming out at against the different indicators and the levels within the framework. I think it's a really good tool. It's quite a lengthy process, but it's worth doing. <laughs>